Okay, for this game with the brain speed ball, we're gonna start standing. This could also be done sitting in a chair on a bench or a couch, something like that to make it really simple. It's a pretty easy game to play and you wanna play at a speed that makes sense for you. So I'll show kind of at a, a slower speed and then variations of how to make this harder by playing faster and kind of larger range of motion. So remember to play at a speed that makes sense for you and a range of motion that feels good in your body. So two hands on the ball, you're gonna to toss and catch the ball. Then it changes to one hand to make a simple circle around in space, back to two hands. Toss, catch, and a simple circle around, back to center. Toss, catch, and a simple circle. Now, we're locked onto the ball. We wanna find a specific letter or number on the ball. So if I was playing full out, it would look and sound like this. S. Locked onto the S all the way through that circle. E. Locked onto the E. Z. Six. Now this is a great balance challenge because you have your head moving with the exercise a lot. And remembering to keep it a game. So if that feels like it's too much challenge or that's a lot of head movement for you, then you can make the whole range smaller. So smaller would look like this. Z, just a little circle around. I, a little circle. And that way you can focus a little bit more on the eyes moving with a little less head movement, working your way up to be stronger so that you can eventually incorporate a larger motion back to the version where you had that large range of motion around. R, you could also take the circle the other direction. M, up and around. 10. G. All right, so larger range of motion is harder, faster is harder. Remember when you're really trying to improve your balance through that head motion, through that inner ear challenge, we don't wanna to go too big too fast. So find a game that feels really doable first, practice that skill, get used to it, and then increase your speed, then increase your range of motion to make it more challenging. Remember, when your eyes are strong, your body is strong. When your eyes are flexible, your body is flexible. There's that direct correlation in the brain. So focus on tracking the ball, making it a level that stays fun so your brain stays curious and engaged with the whole process. If you have any questions about this game, let me know. I'm happy to help. Go give it a try.